know. I always kind of end up not vlogging because I always think like, oh, my life's not that interesting. There's nothing really to say, nothing really to do. But I enjoy watching people's vlogs that, I just enjoy watching vlogs. They're my favorite videos to watch and I quite enjoy filming them. And I think if I keep saying like, I'm not doing anything interesting today, I will never ever vlog because I always feel like that. But today, um, me and Matt are gonna go into town for a wander about and to pick up some things. And so I thought I might as well bring you along because Edinburgh is a really beautiful city. It's just really, I love living in Edinburgh. It's just such a great city. I was going to vlog yesterday as well, but I ended up having like a really busy day full of things that I couldn't really vlog. But um, something really annoying happened and I thought I might as well just chat about it because I'm sure a lot of you will have experienced this, but um, because I'm on Citalopram, which is an antidepressant, I have to go to the doctor every couple of months or every month or so just to like check up on the medication and see how I'm doing with it. But every single time, I always get a really arsely doctor who like just doesn't really know much about mental health. And I'm sure a lot of you will have experienced that. Um, going to the doctors, going to your GP with mental health problems, um, they just don't really get it. And I was talking to him and he was just like, um, kept saying things that were just like massive stereotypes of mental health, which was really quite offensive. Like things like, oh, I take it you can't deal with authority. And I keep, I take it you can't like be assertive and like all these kind of things. And I was just like, are you a doctor? Or are you like, what are you trying to achieve by talking to me like this? Like, it was so annoying. Um, he also gave me a blood test and he did it really badly and so I've got a massive bruise on my arm which usually, I get blood tests quite a lot because I have a thyroid condition and he didn't do it very well. So I'm kind of pissed off with the doctors right now. I just feel like every time I've gone to the doctors for mental health it's never been a positive experience. And you might, you might have great doctors that know a lot about mental health which is great but mine's just don't and it's really annoying. Um, anyway, today I'm going to go uptown. Uh, gonna do some stuff and then come back and um, so I'm just gonna do my makeup and get ready and I will be back <laughs> My tripod is currently a cushion or some cushions on top of each other. I'm just having some breakfast and we don't have anything in the house except fruit. Um, but these strawberries I think I've seen better days but look how massive this one is. It's absolutely huge. They're actually okay. They're just really cold because they've been in the fridge. God. So cold. Strawberries are a fruit that you have to eat on the day or the day after. I think or they just become really mushy. There's nothing worse on this planet than a mushy piece of fruit. Um, an apple, that's mushy, like when you bite into it. Like when you bite into an apple, it's meant to really like crunch. Like I like crunchy things. I like crunchy apples and like pears, even cherries, berries. They need to be crunchy for me to like them. And so when things go a bit, I'm not into it, which is bad because I don't like throwing food away, but I would never eat. A mushy piece of fruit. Fruit? Fruit. Wah. All right, lads, so, oh, I've changed my lipstick. Um, we're back now. We're actually just about to go out again, but I'm not going to take my camera because I don't feel like it's something that I can really film. Okay, now you won't even talk anymore, so, okay, that's fine. Do you think I yes. can take my camera or not? 
Do you think I should bring my camera? Yes. No. Okay, well, I won't then. Well, we're going to the pub and then we're going to a party, so... Okay. So maybe that would be good vlogging material. But you don't want to vlog in front of all your pals, huh? And also, I don't know if people want to be on film, so I'll, I'll respect that. Anyway, I want to show you the dress I got uptown because it's really pretty. Matt, can you... Are you filming? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I'm going to talk. Oh. Um, yeah, this is the dress I got. It's so pretty. I love embroidery right now. And I'm actually trying to teach myself to embroider. And I just love it. I think it's so pretty and just like perfect shape. And I feel... <laughs> um, but anyway, I didn't really get anything else except loads of cards and this dress. We did go to Bread Makes Bread, which was like... Comsi comsa. Wasn't that great? Like... Matt quite liked it, but I really like, oh, I just feel like vegan meat kind of tastes, you can really tell it's vegan meat. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, just we would rather stick to vegetables or cheese, really. Um, but that, I'm just going to end the vlog here because nothing more interesting is going to happen. Um, and I'm not going to vlog later. Are you even filming my face? I am. <laughs> you just well. No. Why not? Just film my face. Today I am vlogging, although I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing today. I am currently running myself a bath, as you can hear. I thought I'd just show you. I went to Lush the other day and I bought quite a lot of bath bombs. So I thought, why not start this day with a Lush haul? Also, I don't know what I'm doing today, so this could be an extremely boring vlog. So let's liven it up with some bath bombs. The first thing I got is it's rose bombshell this one smells amazing oh that smells so good it's already crumbled quite a lot but it's got like engraved roses in it so pretty i'm going to try and not completely rip off the packaging because i've noticed that when i have bath bombs like out of their um paper bag they go quite moldy it's quite disgusting but i suppose just because they're so fresh but Next, I have Metamorphosis. This is a very new one. Um, I quite like the smell of it. I think it smells quite Christmassy and cinnamony. Um, yeah, it's got cinnamon leaf oil and that kind of stuff. But the only problem with this bath bomb is, I've had it before and I, I do like it. The only problem with it is the water just goes like, it doesn't go like, I thought it would go like a really nice, dark, deep, like, blacky, grey colour. But it just kind of goes a bit, a tiny bit like muddy and it just looks like somebody's gone in who's really dirty and come out and it doesn't look it's just a little bit grey and so it doesn't look that great if I remember rightly on the inside there's lots of different colours but I could be wrong um, it's also quite glittery which is fun but I just really like the smell of it it's just not my favourite thing in the world next we have the frozen bath bomb I was excited to see this because I thought that this only came out at Christmas but apparently not and it's like two different types of blue. It smells really, it smells quite floral actually. Yeah, like rose oil and neroli oil and that kind of thing. So it's, it is very, um, very floral. It's also like really pretty when you visit in the bath because it's just like a really lovely blue color with sparkles in it. Glorious. Oh, this is a new one that I've not tried yet. So I'm really excited for this. It's called Yellow Submarine Bath Bomb. Oh, it's so cute. This one's really cool because it smells like coconut. And I've not had a bath bomb that smells like coconut before, I don't think. I really like coconut. Lemongrass, Brazilian orange and coconut. So I'm interested to see what that actually smells like when it's pissed away. kind of smells a bit like um, marzipan. Even if I don't like the smell of a lush bath bomb, I will buy it. I know that sounds silly. But one, when if it's away, they usually smell different. So like, even if you don't like to smell them in shop, like you probably might like it if it's just at home. And also, I just want to try every single one because I'm just such a lush person. Next, we've got my Timeless Classic. I love this one. It's what I'm having in my bath right now, but I got two. It's the Blackberry Bath Bomb, and this is just like my favorite thing. Like I think two years ago, Matt got me one um, for Valentine's Day or something, and I've never looked back. 
It just smells amazing. And it's like the most beautiful purple colour. And lastly, we have the Comforter Bubble Bar because I feel like you can't go to lunch without buying one of these because they are just the best. Like, I'm not really into Lush's really, really sweet smells. Like, see the, like, fairy dust and that kind of thing, or is that what it's called? It's like, snow fairy, that kind of thing I'm not really into. But this one is so good. Like, it's not too sweet. It's a little bit, like, it's like sweet berry. It smells like raspberry ripple ice cream. It smells so good. And it smells even better when you crumbled it in your bath. Um, I hope that wasn't too much of a boring start to this vlog. Um, I just been waiting to show this in the video because who doesn't love Lush? Who doesn't love Lush? I just love it. I'm going to go and have my bath now and then I will decide what I'm doing today. I'm not really sure. I think like there's lots of things that I should be doing but there's nothing that I feel like I want to do. So that's a bit of a predicament. So when I'm at my bath I might feel a bit better. Right now I'm just feeling a little bit achy and a little bit sticky um, but I, as many of you know, I have IBS so Usually, when I wake up in the morning and I have my breakfast, I usually do feel a bit sick and like tired and a bit sore, which is a bit weird, but that's how I feel. And so usually after I've had my bath and stuff like that, I usually feel better. So, hopefully that happens today. I shouldn't be this out of breath, I'm just walking up some stairs guys, I really shouldn't. But I've decided to actually get on with the shit I need to do today, which might not be great vlogging material. But hopefully I can try and make something decent out of it. But I just need to lo do loads and loads of editing today. Um, so I'm going to go to a cafe with my friend and do lots and lots of editing. Because obviously this month I'm doing a video every other day on my channel. Which means I need to actually do some shit. Like the cafe we're going to is like a really pretty cafe. So I'll try and take some nice shots in there. But who knows, like it's quite a quiet place. So I don't want to do too much vlogging and stuff. But yeah, let's go and actually do some stuff. Now, <coughs> choking on some cereal. Finishing my meals of the day the same way I started with a bowl of cereal. I usually stay out till like after tea time, and by that time, I'm like it's like nine o'clock when I come home, and then I don't really want to cook anything, so I just have a bowl of cereal, which means that it's extremely unhealthy. I'm also currently watching Love Island because. I never started watching Love Island at the start. I've never actually watched Love Island. This is my first time watching Love Island. Um, and I didn't think I'd actually like it because even though I love rubbish TV, like I love Big, Big Brother, all that kind of stuff I'm into, but I'm now really hooked on Love Island, which is such a bad thing because it's just terrible. Like it is just a pile of shit, but I just really, really love watching it. So I'm gonna go and eat my cereal and watch Love Island. Perfect. Okay, my face has definitely changed since last time you saw me, I think. Because, oh, I'm just really allergic to my own cat, which is so frustrating because she's the best thing ever. I fucking love my cat, but I'm just so allergic. And I've just been like cuddling her and she kept like putting her f face and mouth on my hands. It was really weird, but it was so cute. And now I'm really sneezy and my eyes are really itchy. But anyway, I'm put this oh god, I'm gonna put this down a bit. How do I do that? Anyway, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> I believe this vlog might be two vlogs put together. I'm not too sure. Um, but either way, I think this vlog might have been quite short and maybe not that interesting or eventful. But I hope that you enjoyed it anyway and that you're not like this girl's boring because I might be and I'm still getting used to vlogging again like I feel like I went through a phase where I was quite good at vlogging and I was quite good at making vlogs and stuff 
and now I don't really know what I'm doing. And so bear with me. I'm sure they'll get better when I get better at being able to vlog. I also just forget and I'm really like not a good person to vlog outside. Like I get really like, oh, I don't want people seeing me, even though I know I shouldn't care. Anyway, now I'm just talking for the sake of talking. So I'm gonna go and I hope you enjoyed the vlog um, and I will see you very soon as I'm making a video every other day on this channel if I've not already said a million times. Okay, bye.